Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I am at Cars & Coffee Brisbane here at the November meet. Now, the meet might not look packed, but there are exotic cars everywhere once we go down there. I'm super excited. I'm gonna do the video a little bit differently today. Kind of just gonna cover the really cool cars and let's just jump right into it. Alrighty, we'll start things off with this satin matte black Lamborghini Aventador. This is an absolutely stunning car. Great car to start the meet off. As you can see, we've got a Gallardo casually parked up next to it, next to the brand new Ferrari with the giddy up number plates. There are so any great cars here. Today you've got the McLaren. I believe this might be, is this the 675? I'm not too sure. Which one is this? This one is really cool. Look at the carbon fiber wing on this vehicle. It is absolutely ballistic. Check it out. And you've also got the Ferrari California, which is also a very, very clean car. And check out this bad boy. This is an 8.6 with the insane Rocket Bunny wide body kit. It's really cool. And it also has a pretty cool setup in the back as well. If you do have a little peek, you can actually see it does have the pink velvet as well as the airbag suspension with the Lampard tail lights as well which is kind of cool and unique we have so many cool cars today check this out this Aston Martin is something you definitely don't see very often you don't really see Aston Martins out on the road too often but this one is an absolute gorgeous spec pretty clean in your typical James Bond silver let's go have a quick peek at the interior and that's what it looks like inside nothing too crazy going on pretty much your standard black leather with your white stitching but nonetheless it is still a very clean car take a look at the back and that's what she looks like very interesting car and you got the Maserati paired up next to it these are pretty cheap actually these matter Maseratis aren't actually that expensive I think they're around that 70 80 thousand dollar mark I think you can even get them for even cheaper so it is kind of cool I do believe they have that Ferrari V8 in them as well which is pretty sick and you've got the Damaso Panteros paired up next to the Lotus we've got a couple of them here a lot of people mistake these early for a Lamborghini Countach and because they do look pretty similar in terms of with the wing design and things like that but one thing I do find crazy is check out the width of the those tires those tires are easily yep i was right they're 335 tires absolutely huge and then look at this we actually have a lamborghini diablo here this is something you don't really see ever out on the road ever like i don't think i've ever seen one out actually driving so this thing is absolutely gorgeous you can see v12 with the doors up as it should be and that is actually a very clean interior as well check out that it's almost like a suede um, alcantara like interior you can see you got that manual shift lever there so retro so old school absolutely stunning and you can see that that's the engine bay there in the back and then you've also got the satin black hurricane performante as well you kind of see these satin black matte black wraps are pretty common on the lamborghinis now a lot of people do them you've also got the ferrari f430 as well which is absolutely gorgeous i really really love these cars I'm typically not a huge fan of the Ferraris, but these are actually a pretty good value for money. We got the new Mark V Super parked up here, as long with this Ford Falcon GT. And we got another 2002 Ford here as well. This one is absolutely stunning. You can see there's actually some memorabilia and some magazines and stuff, I think, where the car was featured, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got the Porsche 911 over here as well. And we've got this absolutely stunning. Is this the Silvia? This actually might be the Silvia. Let me double check the badging on this. Yep, it says it just down there. It is a Silvia. It says it there on the dash in the interior as well. It's very clean car inside actually really really love this actually might have to buy one one day this is really cool got a gorgeous bmw 8 series got this really cool shelby cobra and check out this we got another wide body 86 as well and a very interesting paint scheme don't really tell if you can see it on camera but it's this weird fleckle color Look at that, that thing is absolutely stunning. Very cool. I just saw a green RX-7. That needs to happen right now. I'm going over this second. There she is. Check out, this is absolutely stunning. As you guys know, the next car is definitely gonna be an RX-7 FD. And I think this is a very unique color as well. You definitely don't see it very often. Very clean shape. This one isn't optioned with the wing. And as you can see, there is a hurricane coming down the road as well, just casually as this place is absolutely full of cars. Absolutely awesome car. You can see there's just so much and the meat goes all the way down to the end of the street. There are so many cars to cover on this video. And don't worry as well, we will be posting the pools at the end of the video. So if you do want to see those, make sure you stay tuned. I don't actually know what this Holden is because I'm not too actually familiar with Australian vehicles. But this thing is actually really cool looking. And actually some of the only Mercedes that I do really like are the SL classes. I think these are fucking clean. I really love this SL500. I think it's a gorgeous design. And I just really like the squared off shape that it has on the vehicle. Now check out this thing. I don't actually know what it is, but it says Ultima 720. I've seen this thing around before and it's absolutely stunning. It's so cool. Check out that. The license plate is actually just a sticker. How legal that is, probably don't know. Nonetheless, this thing probably isn't very legal to be driving on the street anyway. It's pretty cool. 
you can check out it's a full racing cockpit as well. Surprised it actually has two seats. Dude, this thing would be an absolute beast on the road. Holy shit, look at that. Is that a Lincoln Continental? Is that what that is? Holy fuck. That looks fucking awesome. We've got a Ferrari F12 Superfast over there. We've also got the Lotus Exige that says too slow. Is that talking about the car or the other cars? Then we've got another Lotus Exige over there with the Motec license plates. That's pretty cool. We've got this absolutely stunning Kingswood coming through as well. Pretty cool, dude. The amount of cars that come into these meets is actually starting to get ridiculous. Look at all the cars coming. And you've got the new BMW M Series as well coming down the road. This is really cool. This is the new M3. Check it out. What do you think about the grill? I personally think it looks pretty damn good. I don't really know, I understand what the controversy is about. I think people just aren't very used to change. Now check out this Aston Martin. I believe this might be the DB9 or the DB5. I think these are worth quite a bloody lot of money. I'm actually not 100% too sure on this vehicle. My knowledge isn't very good when it comes to Aston Martins. But damn, it's also rocking the Q1007 plates as well, which are our Queensland heritage plates, which means that is the 1007th plate ever issued in terms of the license plates. It's like a 1920s license plate, which is pretty cool on this pretty old school car. And right next to it, you've got the Ferrari Testarossa. This thing back in the days was the top dog. It is an absolute cool color. Check it out, it's specked out with a white and red interior. Very clean, very classy and elegant interior. And when you move on to the back, there you go, there you can see that amazing E12 engine. And check out this cute mini. This thing is absolutely cool. Check it out. It's in a lime green color. I do apologize for the glare on the camera at the moment. It's very sunny. I will help adjust my settings to see if I can fix it. But we've got another one over here as well, which looks really cool. But this is a Fiat Abarth, not actually a mini. You can see we've actually got a, quite a lot of Fiat's. I actually believe it's like a Fiat day or something like that, which is really cool because you can see that absolutely everywhere. I always like to feature this car on the channel as well. I do believe it's a Holden SLR. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the color you you need to see this color in real life to truly appreciate how amazing it is. And you know what? I'll use the Sony A7 to really show you how amazing the color is. So I guess it's time for a montage. Alrighty, and next up we got this McLaren 650 as well. This is a really cool spec. You can see it's blacked down, but it also does have yellow stitching in the interior, which is pretty cool. A nice fleckle and speckle in the paint. You can actually see, you won't be able to pick this up on the camera. It's actually a black paint with red flake in it. That's something that's pretty unique. And you see we've got the Porsche 911 paint up next to it. And we've also got the 911 GT3 RS parked up over there, which is really cool. Next to a Camaro, I've said this plenty of times on the channel, and I'll say it again. We don't really see American cars here, well, because, well, we're not in America, and we don't really get them they're pretty much all imported and it's really expensive and you've also got to convert them to right hand drive as well but that is a stunning vehicle over there so you've got this cute little alfa romeo coming in as well now check out this muscle car lineup we've got the ford falcon we've also got the dodge charger we've got another charger over there in the purple and this one says chevelle on them i'm not 100 too sure which one this is but this purple is absolutely stunning i love this color so much it looks really good you can see the big logo at the front saying dodge i don't know purple on this car i feel like it's just how it's meant to come it looks really good and that is the bare bones interior that you do get on these cars so you got the little beamer ripping it through and we've also got the evo wagon this is something that's pretty cool as well now i do apologize for the horrendous glare on this gopro it can be pretty terrible sometimes but i love this car this is one of the lexus models i think is just absolutely amazing the lc I believe what 500 is what it's called let me double check it's called the lc 500 right yeah there it is at the back this car the designs on this car the way the lines flow i think it is an absolutely gorgeous car i really love it i've been noted that i also say absolutely gorgeous and absolutely stunning probably too many times but i don't know why i just say it when i'm filming videos i just saw a lotus esprit as well pull up to the me which is pretty cool you see with the evo parked up there next to it and there's the evo wagon also parked up next to the mitsubishi fto check this out we got the r32 gtr these cars are absolutely Absolutely gorgeous like literally this is the epitome of Japanese engineering this thing dominated Australian races it's such a cool car so historic and this is awesome we've actually got a 350z here in the Le Mans Sunset Orange now it's not the cleanest model I will say that but 350z's normally aren't very clean it potentially looks like it might have been resprayed the flake on this car is actually incredible maybe it's had a detail actually that why does it look so flaky 
geez, you can see it's got the tint on there. It's pretty cool. And you can see on the back, it does also have that little lip spoiler that I actually put on that little Model 350Z kit that I just recently got. And here you can see the side. Paint's in relatively okay condition. It actually looks like it's been optioned with rear parking sensors. I did not know that was even a thing, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool to see a 350Z. It has also been reupholstered. It's like black and red stitching and the manual. I know you can't see anything because of the tint, but nonetheless, that's pretty cool. I always love seeing an orange 350 at a car meet because you definitely don't see them all the time. Here, you've got the Lotus Esprit as well pulling in. These cars are awesome. And casually next to it, you have the R32 GTR. Oh God, it just doesn't get any better. Oh shit. Dude, I don't know if you just saw that. That was right next to it. That was about a centimeter. <laughs> that was not very good. Maybe he feels pressured because I'm filming. Maybe I shouldn't film him. But nonetheless, that was nearly a bad accident in the making. Check this out. We have the R33 GTR. Now, I don't understand why some people say that this is the ugly duckling because it isn't. It looks amazing. And in terms of value, these cars were amazing value back in the day. You know, they really were unappreciated. Now they're actually starting to really be worth more than R32s, which is pretty crazy to me, but they actually are the better car. I'm trying to identify if it's in that purple color or the black. It's definitely in the black once you get up closer. You can see that, that GTRs also have like blacked out headlights as well, which I didn't notice before, which looks really cool. With another R32 Skyline parked up over here. And check out this, we got the rotary gang. We got the RX-8 pan up with this. The only reason why I know this is a rotary because there's the patch on the front and the seats. You can see it's got the rotor patterns all over it. This color is gorgeous. What I would do for this car, I didn't even know I wanted this car. I'm gonna forget that I want this car. And then when I remember and look up the price, I'm gonna be probably really, really disappointed. Cars, oh my God, there's such a money pit. That's where all my life and my money goes into. So that's why you need to like and subscribe the video so I can actually make some more money so I can buy more shit like that. That's pretty awesome. And speaking of more rotaries, we have the blue RX-7 FD as well. I've said this already in the video, but I'm gonna say it again. I will be getting one of these cars, definitely. This is the next car on the channel, 100%. These cars are amazing. I'm gonna be importing one from Japan. The Australian prices are just ridiculous. But this color is amazing as well. But as you guys know, I do want the yellow one. And here right next to it, you do also have the FB RX-7 in this cool kind of like, what would you call it? It's not maroon, it's kind of like a bronzy color. And you kind of got that brown accent along the side, which I think looks really cool as well. And check that out, you've got the 370Z Nismo. I'm not a huge fan of the 370Zs, as you might know. I think they can look really, really amazing when done right. But the 370Z Nismo from Factory just looks right. It looks stunning. I love it. You can see it's got the blue tipped um, titanium exhaust, it looks like on the back there as well. These cars are really awesome. But unfortunately, as much as I love the 370Z and as much as great of a car it is, there is also a Dodge Viper over there. And a Dodge Viper, you just don't see in Australia. This is going to be a showstopper. The fact that there's a Dodge Viper here today is pretty cool. And it's definitely going to be getting a quick little montage as well to show off that engine bay. Because this car is awesome. It's also kind of in this unique kind of banana yellow color, similar to what the RX-7 FD comes in terms of what the paint code looks like. There is the number plates at the back there. Really cool car. I'm gonna do a quick little montage of it. I've been out finding my ways, grinding for days. I've been out shining the hate. All of y'all wanted for praise. Stuck in a phase, let it a turn in a blaze. Yeah, homie, you don't want to race. Nah, better to stick to your place. Yeah, want it all. Okay, you know what? I was gonna finish the montage, but a Ford GT just pulled up, and there's also a Porsche, what, the Speedster? This GT is a showstopper. Look, everyone around it is filming the car. I don't know if it's a real one. It's probably a rep that usually always reps. But the fact there is a Ford GT here is pretty fucking sick. I do once again apologize for the camera glare on this camera. And one thing I didn't notice, over there there's actually a Honda electronic vehicle. These are one of these EV Honda vehicles. This is really cool. I haven't actually seen this in person before. Wow, this is really, I like this car a lot actually. This is pretty cool. It's an EV, oh my God, look at the interior on that. Dude, what the fuck? You don't even, you literally have cameras as mirrors and the whole thing is a screen with wood grain. Dude, I'm sorry Mercedes, but this wins. This wins in terms of quality. This is really cool. Wow, look at this. That's so cool, because these aren't even in the country yet. They're not even, I don't think they're gonna be sold here, which is really awesome. Look at this little Honda Velocity N here as well. And the four GT is about to, you know, split us in half. So better move out of the way. This thing looks so badass. Check it out. Now, we'll actually feature this GR Yaris just because you guys in America actually don't even get them. So, it is a pretty cool car. It is an absolute pocket rocket. These things launch pretty ballistic and actually seeing them all around the roads, actually. But they've all been sold out like that, instantly sold out. You can see you've also got the Holden Monaro over there as well, which is really badass. And we've actually got an R35 GTR pulled up here as well in this really nice, like, navy blue color. 
have a peek at the interior. That's what you got there. Look at those Recaro seats with the black and red extensive leather. Looks really cool. And I just did hear like a Lamborghini leave. Um, unfortunately, I missed that. I'm gonna get there right now and I'll post the pools.